Would we? Oh no. no. <laughs> okay. Uh, would we call this a uh, meet cute? Only if it were by accident, and not arranged via that dating site, Romance Forever. May I be forgiven for signing up for that? <laughs> um, maybe we're date cute for our first in-person date. Um. Oh. <laughs> Um, so, um, would you like to dance? So, uh, no, I'm oh. sitting here drinking coffee. Wow, that was some segue. <laughs> Not. <laughs> well, I guess I'm used to getting right to the point. Part of the job description, but the dancing, the symbolism, the movement together, the holding together, it, I think it's kind of romantic. And isn't that the next thing? Uh, in a romance like ours, a rom-com, as it were? A romance like ours? Only if this really were romantic, or in any way comedic. Oh, so you don't agree that this is a romance? Only if there's any love involved, or if you see anything funny about us sitting here unable to have a normal conversation. But this is... The whole scene, it's not about you and me, it's about the show. The whole rom-com thing. It starts with the exact same scene with the extremely cute but mismatched couple, the awkward stops and starts and conversation. <laughs> and they fall in love. I mean, of course they do. I mean, this is why people watch movies. This is why they go to the theater. And this has to be good. And this has to be dramatic. And this has to be cool. And this has to have a musical number like a fantasy type dance sequence for it to be absolutely perfect. That's very meta. And that's a very long speech for a tech guy like yourself. Please don't underestimate me. Okay. So, uh, do you dance, really? <laughs> Obviously, Amente. That's how I got the part. <laughs> well, show me. Stand up. <laughs> so what's next? The foxtrot? Sure. Uh, some more ballroom dance, swing, I guess. Foxtrot. Oh. A little tango. <laughs> Let's do it. so far. Are you feeling it yet? Feeling what? <laughs> no, uh, nothing. Not what? planning to. Just dancing. But I admit, you do have some good moves. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, is this enough for you to know that I love you? You love me? After two minutes. Uh, the... <laughs> And I suppose I'm supposed to, what, fall in love with you? First, no. Uh, this dance, this temporary entanglement, is no indication of love, is it? I mean, uh, if we're really following the formula, you'd have to start stalking me, say, standing outside my window with a gigantic boom box playing Peter Gabriel, which I never even liked back then. I mean, ever. Ever. How could I? That's beside the point. The point is that I liked it. And because I assumed that I liked it and played it loudly enough and long enough outside your window that you would know that I love you. I, look, I'm just following the script. I woo you and you ignore me. I will you some more, and you get seriously ticked off. And because the third time's the charm, 
at least in the movies, I woo you again. In a kind of stalkerish way. Yeah. But you fall for me. Oh. Yeah, you're right. I'm stalking you. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Well, then what are you gonna do? Because, yeah, thanks for not doing that. But what if not some creepy, cringy, large-scale stalking gesture? Well, if you're okay with my not doing that part and you particularly don't like the female part in that scenario, can we at least just do the dancing? The holding of each other in a romantic way? Because as we both indicated on those online forums we filled out, we enjoy dancing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's exactly right. But just so we both understand that we personally are not getting romantic with each other, that the dance is just a symbol and our roles are just roles. Because that old trope that love conquers all, Nope. I'm not buying that. <laughs> I get it. Totally. <laughs> but do you think there's any hope for us? I mean, we both did fill out that Romance Forever website, and I know I'm looking for true love, and... What is that really, right? But there you go. We keep working on it, don't we? Thinking about it. All of us. All the time. Uh, really? Are you thinking about true love all the time? Because I'm not thinking about true love all the time. For your information, women in general are not, and I in particular am not thinking about true love all the time. <laughs> well, you certainly are dressed like someone who's thinking about it all the time. These clothes, these make you think that I'm going to, what, fall in your arms at a drop of a, what, a pencil a stub in your pocket protector? Oh, God, please tell me you're kidding. Oh, oh, this is precious. Maybe you think that your clothes make me feel romantic thoughts, that I'm attracted to some tech guy who, well, maybe you don't have a pencil stub in your pocket protector, or not even a pocket protector, but pretty damn close. <laughs> Wait, so you think I am trying to look attractive for you? Please tell me you're kidding. I mean, I'm wearing these clothes because I have to go straight from this little coffee meat cute to work. Where this is what all of us techies wear. So, what is it with you with all these preposterous, fake, romantic era clothes? The, the velvet and, and the reds and the purples and all the fanciful costumes. I mean, you certainly are dressed like someone who's thinking about love. Two of. I, too, wearing these clothes because I have to go to work, too. I, I have work this morning, a class, in which I will have to leave for very soon, in which I'm teaching the English romantic poets, and not because I want someone to fall in love with me, but because I want my students to get in the mood of these poets and to then to, not coincidentally, feel the artifice of that poetry and that time and those poets and see the whole picture of that world and that part of that very particular time. And the whole idea that we're in a rom-com? That's such a part of our culture now, isn't it? But not for me. Hmm. You particularly didn't try to look attractive for this meeting with me? No. I don't even know you. <laughs> and you didn't particularly try to look attractive for this meeting with me. <laughs> no. Me either. I dress this way to try to look nice, I guess, for work, same as you. Well then. Well then. <laughs> so, um, would you like to dance before we have to leave? Yes, <laughs> that would be lovely. 
but that's all. You know, just dance a little more. I uh, really have to do go in a couple minutes, but can we maybe meet cute or <laughs> date cute again sometime? Or Alicia's dance cute or dance, maybe? Yes, we can. Let's do that.